Good afternoon. Okay, looks like we're live here. Good afternoon, Carol Buckaloo with Inky B Stampers. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I have a really cute and quick and pretty card for you today. Um, this card uses the uh, Softly Sophisticated stamp set along with the Everyday Details dies. Um, when I placed my demonstrator pre-order, I did not order this stamp set. And uh, I started seeing a lot of samples um, using this stamp set, card samples. And uh, so I'm really not sure why it didn't grab my attention right away, but I did get it in on my second order. And these little flat, this is a two-step stamp, um, which means that, um, you know, this this uh, twig image and then these flowers go together. And then this leaf image and these flowers go together. And we've got a couple of sweet little sentiments on in the stamp set. Um, but the, the, these flowers are just so sweet. Um, very, I don't know, I made it kind of spring-like card. But, you know, you could, you could stamp them in whatever colors you'd like. And then the Everyday Details dies. These are pretty fun dies. And so we've got rectangles and circles. And the die that I used for my card today is this largest rectangle. And you see the little dots on the outside and the inside. And the cut line runs right in between all of those dots. Hey, Mary, thanks so much for joining. And so this particular die in the set will cut both a window and a rectangular panel. So that's lots of fun. And then these two just cut the rectangles. And then the center one is a really great uh, sentiment label. And it's got some sweet little dots around the perimeter. And then this one would just cut some detail on your cardstock, um, but I'm I am loving these dies. I just I think they're so precious. And then on the circle, the largest circle just cuts a circle, right, with the with the dotted detail. But then the second one in will do the same thing. It will cut a frame or or a circle. Uh, so it will do both. So just uh, and then a couple of more detailed dies here. Hey, Karen, you're not late. Thanks so much for joining. Um, I was just looking at the Everyday Details dies, um, and I'm, I'm really loving these dies, and I'm really glad that I got them. Hey, Sharon, thanks for joining. You're watching with a friend from, oh, you're watching with your friend, Darla. Well, hi, Darla. Welcome. Welcome, Sharon. Um, so let's, so this is our card, and super quick and easy um, to put together. The paper is from the Be Mine 12 by 12 designer series paper. Hello, Faith, welcome. Um, which is just really sweet all on its own, right? But uh, let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of stamping. I've got all my pieces here. And um, yeah, so I think this is gonna be pretty quick. And the other thing that I really like about the Softly Sophisticated stamp set, the sentiments, are in a really beautiful font. Wait till you see how pretty this stamps. Um, so I've got the hello there sentiment, and I believe, yeah, this is sweet sorbet. So I'm gonna ink this sentiment up in sweet sorbet, and I'm gonna stamp it here towards the top of my white rectangle panel. So I did pre-cut my, my rectangles using the everyday detail dies up. But just, just look how pretty that that font is. I just, I don't know. I just thought it was exceptionally pretty. Um, and you know what? I'm going to close my sweet sorbet up here for just a second. I want to stamp some flowers first. And then I will come back and stamp the inside sentiment in the sweet sorbet. Um, so I have lemon lime twist here. And the colors I chose for this card... Uh, are for a color challenge for the Happy Ink and Thursday blog hop uh, that will be tomorrow. So please stop back and uh, 
join the hop tomorrow because I think you'll see some pretty amazing cards. Um, I'm going to stamp my leaves. And again, this is a two-step stamp. And I'm going to just kind of center that and stamp it at the bottom on my white rectangle. And uh, let me bring my daffodil delight in. And we'll stamp the sweet little flowers. And these are, I just, I just love these flowers. I just think they are the sweetest, um, tiny little flowers. And apologies, I've got to kind of bring this close to me so I have a chance of actually getting this stamped the way it should be. At least close. That's what I'll aim for, close. Let's see how I did. Not too bad. It, I could have done a little better, but I'm going to take it. It's, you know, it's actually pretty forgiving. Um, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, this is my inside panel. And I want to stamp that same uh, leaf image here in the corner. And I'm going to include that whole image on my panel. And then I'm going to kind of turn it around. And in the top corner, I want to just partially stamp... Um, Almost the whole image, but not quite. On the upper corner there, and then I'll bring my flowers back in. See if maybe I can get this lined up a little better. Okay. And then we'll get the flowers here on this side uh, stamped. have to focus. <laughs> I have to focus. Okay, there we go. And one thing that I uh, did on my original card, I can close up uh, these inks. We're all done with those. Um, oh, no, we're not. I need to stamp my envelope. Completely forgot about my envelope. Let's get the envelope stamped here. So we had some, a really bad storm yesterday and last night. Last night was bad. Uh, we had very high winds, lots of outages in our area. Um, I think when I went to bed, I think we were up to 30,000 outages in the area. Uh, high winds, trees were coming down, taking foam, uh, you know, electric poles down. And so... Um, being a former employee, I'm retired from the electric company, but having worked for the company, um, I appreciate linemen and the hard job that they have uh, in restoring power after a storm like we had yesterday. Uh, those guys right now are working 16-hour shifts uh, to get everybody's power back. And in a windstorm, it's especially difficult and more dangerous, um, just because, um, you know, it, when when trees come down, you know, the trees have to be cleared out first in order to safely restore or, you know, re-erect a, a pole. Um, and those guys just, uh, I, I think they're just so, you know, underappreciated because uh, it, it's a difficult, it's a difficult job. So hopefully everybody is safe. Um, I have here the dark shade of a Daffodil Delight stamp and blend, and I am going to color, just kind of wiggle my little uh, flower centers in here uh, and color those. And I'm gonna do that on all the images of my flowers. Um, yeah, when I when I was working for the utility, um, you know, we would we would have to do uh, we would have to do storm duty, and my role was actually in um, in the storm room, um, and uh, we worked twelve hour shifts in the storm room. Uh, but the the crew guys they work they work sixteen hour shifts when power needs to be restored. 
and uh, it was grueling. It was grueling. It really was. And, uh, you know, customers get frustrated, but, uh, you know, it, they really do restore the power as quickly as they can. Um, what takes time are like the little single and double outages, you know, single homes uh, or two homes at a time. Um, that's what takes time. Okay, so I colored in all my centers. I'm going to come back with the same dark shade of a Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blend. And I am going to draw like a little C at the kind of the bottoms of my flowers. And you wouldn't think that that would show up, but it actually shows up quite well. But it gives our little, I'm, I was just making sure. I didn't put anything inside my envelope like I usually do. And I have a heavy hand. I was hoping it didn't bleed through, and it didn't, so I'm good. Um, but I'm just making a little C shape here on the bottom cups of the flowers, uh, just to give them a little more interest. Um, and that's something really easy to do, and it shows up. Uh, that double layer of the Stampin' Blend uh, actually shows up on that, so we're good. And we can go ahead and put uh, start putting our card together here. So I've got black mats. I'm going to go ahead and put um, mat up my inside panel. Yes, we do depend on linemen for sure, and uh, I think they are greatly underappreciated. Those guys work so hard in very dangerous um in a, in a dangerous environment and uh just so grateful for them there's actually a lineman appreciation day which i think is is wonderful because uh, they definitely deserve uh recognition for what they do you know what i forgot to stamp my sentiment my inside sentiment here i've matted this up but i think we should be all right these are photopolymer st uh, stamps, so I should be able to get it lined up straight. And uh, the inside sentiment says, I really appreciate you. And again, this is Sweet Sorbet ink. And I'm gonna need to pull this card down to me just a little bit. And since I kind of stamped that, you know what? It's this way. <laughs> Let me see, but I still may need to, I think I'm gonna stamp my sentiment off here to the side. And if you wanna do that, that's perfectly okay. Um, I got a little carried away there stamping my flower, but that's all right. We can adjust. Hi, Patsy. Thanks so much for joining Florida. Um, hope you're not in one of the areas that got hit hard yesterday with tornadoes. Um, I was seeing some video come out and, uh, wow, this poor people that got hit, uh, I think it was Panama City Beach got hit really hard, but I think there were some other communities as well. So hopefully you were out of harm's way, Patsy. All right, um, go ahead and get our inside panel put in the card. And, but again, quick and easy card um, with just a really pretty bundle and some fun dies. Oops, and this is why I like liquid glue to get that wiggle room. You were safe, you're in the village, the villages. Oh, I saw a video about the villages. That's that really big community. Uh, you, you guys are kind of self-contained, is that right? If I'm thinking of the same place, that's a pretty cool community. If I moved to Florida, I'd want to live there. Oh, thank you, appreciate it. And I'm going to mat up a piece of Daffodil Delight plaid paper from the B Mayan um, Designer Series paper. This is such a fun paper. I love the little bee in that suite. It is just so precious. And uh, get this lined up. There we go. And we will put this on our... I'm just looking to see how I built my... My sample card, we're not going to put this on yet. We're going to put a few more pieces on. As soon as I can find my, uh-oh. As soon as I can find my pieces, I've lost a piece. Uh, now it really couldn't have gone very far. I just had it here. 
Uh, all right. Hold on. Let me roll my chair back and see if it's on the floor. Nope. Okay. Well, darn. Ah! It was hiding from me, I guess. All right. We're back in business. I hate when I do that. All right. This particular rectangle that I cut out with the uh, Everyday Details dies um, is in another print from the Be Mine paper. And I'm going to glue this down and just place it right in the lower left corner of this larger. It happens to you all the time. Hey, Ann. Thanks so much for joining. Um, yeah, golf cart community. Um, right. I saw a video. It was a fascinating video about that community. And, I mean, you guys, like, have enter outdoor entertainment and all kinds of stuff going on. It looks like a lot of fun. And then I think they've, it's, it's gotten so large that they name kind of the different areas of the neighborhood. Um, but it looks really cool. I'll tell you, the older I get, the more and more I would like to live in a community like that and get away from the cold in the, um, on the East Coast because, I, well, there's much colder areas, areas in the country. But, yeah, it gets really... It gets really cold. All right. And um, for our um, for our front sentiment, we are going to pop this up with some Stampin' Dimensionals. Uh, Patty, I am in Delaware. I'm in northern Delaware. And, uh, yeah, it, it can get, you know. I, I do recognize uh, I've got some team members that live in much colder areas than me. Um, but I just find as, as, as I get older, um, I really don't like the cold very much at all. My joints don't like the cold. So yeah, it would be nice to be in Florida for sure. Maybe one day, you never know. If I can get these dimensionals to cooperate, there we go. I'm going to put one there in the center just so it doesn't sag on me. And we'll get our dimensional covers off. And it's cold where you are. I don't know what your temps are. I haven't really looked, but uh, did you get snow uh, the other day? All right, and this panel, I'm just gonna turn this uh, to the side so I can better place this, but uh, this panel is going to go right over here and we're going to overlap that um, that red panel and try to get it placed as straight as possible which I'm not doing a very good job there we go I think that's good all right um, so we've got our um, we've got our inside panel in we can go ahead and pop this larger panel up uh, with Stampin' Dimensionals as well, just to give it some nice dimension. But this card is actually pretty flat. I think it would mail fairly well, um, especially since the uh, embellishments that I'm putting on here um, aren't especially bulky, so that would be good. Let me get my glue capped up there so it doesn't dry out. You've been in the 30s and 40s. That's not too bad, Ann. You're in Michigan, right? Michigan? Weekend, your weekend temps are going to be down in the single digits. Burr. You have my sympathies. Yep, Michigan. That's what I thought. Ann is a very talented... Um, China painter and I follow her Facebook page uh, I've done a little bit of China painting my mother more so than me um, but Anne is uh, very talented and she does instructional videos and I am drawing a blank Anne please uh, please post your business page name porcelain exchange 
I'm, I, I think I'm getting it wrong. But please, uh, please post the name of your business page in the comments. And if you get a chance, uh, check out Ann's channel. She does some amazing, amazing stuff. And then folks will share their work on her channel uh, as well. Um, but just beautiful. I love to try to paint. I'm not an especially patient person. And China painting is like you need time <laughs> because you're not completing usually a painting in just one fire uh, because you need to fire your work in, in a kiln. Um, and uh, and it's, a, it's an interesting medium to work with. Um, and, and, I, and, it, and it's not all that easy. It takes a lot of practice. So I have a lot of respect for those that, that uh, can China paint and do it well. All right, I have here some Lemon Lime Twist Ribbon uh, from the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack. And I am going to just tie. Um, yeah, my mom, my mom does, uh, she, she has done some beautiful pieces over the years. Thanks for sharing your page. Paint and Porcelain Exchange. I almost had it right in. Uh, let me tie that. I want that that end to be just a little bit longer. If I could get the ribbon to cooperate, this is the problem with tying a bow when you're live. Oh, thank you, Karen, appreciate it. it it's a springy card, isn't it? I just thought it looked so springy, uh, which I'm totally ready for. Winter has just barely started. <laughs> but I, I am ready for spring. All right. That white, that one end, let me try doing the rabbit ear bow and see if I have better luck because I'm not having luck right now. Just doing, um, that one piece of ribbon wants to keep twisting on me. Good grief. Let's see if we can try it this way and get better results. And if not, I'm just going with it. Make it a little bit smaller. I think that looks good. And I'm going with that. And I've got some long tails here. Let me just grab my paper snips. Yeah, I know. And we still have a good two months of winter to go. But, you know, it is what it is. Let me see here. Yeah, I need to trim those ends down just a tad. And I'm going to grab my mini glue dots and my tweezers, and I'll secure that bow to the card front with a mini glue dot. And I'm going to put it right here at the base of my uh, flower stem. And I'm just kind of, I use the point of my tweezers to roll that mini glue dot up just so that it won't be, you know, exposed on the card front. And risk, you know, having it uh, stick to the inside of your envelope or something. So that'll be good. And then um, I have here the adhesive back tarts and flowers. Um, these are just so much fun. And I am going to use some of these yellow hearts and daffodil delight. Yeah, I know. I know, Faith. <laughs> I know, I'm totally with you. Um, I'm going to grab a large heart here, and I'm going to put it right up there at the top of our panel. And we'll grab a small one, and let's put that one down here. And grab another large one, and I'm going to put, put that one right there. And I think that will be enough uh, embellishment. But these embellishments have a gloss finish to them, and they're a doubt you can see it. But they hardly, um, they hardly add any height. They're fairly flat. They're not completely flat, but, uh, you know, flat enough that this is going to mail well uh, without a lot of bulk and risk of damaging your envelope. And then I've got a coordinating piece of paper here from the Be Mine paper. And grab my glue, and we can uh, go ahead and... Decorate our envelope flap. So celebration is going on right now. 
and celebration started January 4th. It will run through February 29th. And if you're not familiar with celebration, uh, that's where you can place a Stampin' Up! order from any current catalog and uh, earn free products. So for every 50 and $100 you spend, you can choose an item from the celebration brochure and get that item for free. And there are some really lovely uh, designer series papers in the catalog. There are stamp sets, uh, some dies, and yeah, so don't miss out on grabbing those free products with your orders. Uh, all of the details are on my blog uh, at inkybstampers.com. So you can head out there and, you know, have a look. Uh, and one of the other exciting things that's going on during celebration is a joining promotion. If you've ever thought about being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, uh, now is a great time to join. You uh, To become a demonstrator, you basically purchase a $99 starter kit. Your kit uh, will ship for free. And you can choose um, a $125 in a product, anything you choose to add to your starter kit. Um, so $125 in products. And then you can get the Glass Mat Studio uh, for free. Um, which is a $60 value. So you're only spending $99 and you're getting $125 in product plus the Glass Mat Studio for free. I have the Glass Mat Studio. You can kind of see the bottom of, of it down here. Um, I have it covered because the lights tend to glare on the glass. I haven't figured out how to stop that. Um, oh, you just signed back up today, Patsy. Wonderful. Um, wonderful. I'm glad you joined again. Um, I'll tell you, the Stamping Up! community is just awesome. Um, I have just, I've been at it now for uh, over two years, and I just love it. Uh, so, yeah, if you're thinking about becoming a demonstrator, you know, please reach out to me uh, at inkybstampers at gmail.com. Uh, and you know we can we can talk, um, but anyway, I'm 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 uh, I'm getting off track here. The glass mat studio, uh, you get a, the glass mat, which is approximately 14 by 17 inches. Um, it has rubber feet, so this mat I'm kind of jiggling my mat. It will not move. Um, it also comes with a silicone tray that sticks to the mat, and then you can place your you know, you can place your stamp pads on the mat. They're not going to move either. Um, and it's got little slots for mixing if you want to do some watercolor. Um, or or it also holds little ink spots, the little square cubes. Uh, and then it comes with a cleaning cloth that you wet. And you can use that to clean down your mat. So uh, that's, that's option number one for joining. Option number two for joining is you purchase the $99 starter kit. You get $125 worth of products of your choice, plus you get an additional $30 in products of your choice. Uh, it will ship for free. Um, I belong to a, a team that is very laid back. We have a lot of hobby demonstrators. You don't need to join Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator and run a business if you don't want to. Just join for the 20% plus discount. Um, you get early access to products, uh, early access to, you know, stuff that's coming out. Um, and there's no pressure to sell from our team, none at all. If you decide you don't like it, that's fine. You can drop and, you know, and like Patsy, you know, she said she just joined back up today. Um, so, yeah, it's a great deal during celebration. Make sure you take advantage of it. So that is my card for today. I want to thank you so much for joining. Um, give this sweet little card a try. It is super easy and very spring-like, don't you think? I like I like how spring-like it is. I like, I like the cheerful colors and the sweet little flowers. Uh, listen, have a wonderful day, and uh, please join me next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.